Hey, this is Motion Designer and in today's video, I want to thank you all for helping me reach 1000 subscribers and with that said in mind, I thought of giving some free text animation presets and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use that preset as well. So I suggest you and request you to stick till the end of the video and in today's video, we're going to create this burst and lines animation in After Effects and right before we start the video and a little disclaimer before we start the video you have to use Adobe After Effects 2020 and above to work all right this is a new composition with just text no animation in it so first things first go and click this and check this title action save right so select the pen tool and zoom in here and click on this middle point and hold down shift and click it up here so that you have a perfect straight line right so i don't want this fill x this out and increase the stroke to maybe 30 and zoom it out and you can solo the layer by clicking this and i'm gonna rename this as burst okay collapse this go inside content shape and stroke and go inside this line cap and change this to round cap right so select this add and select this trim path collapse this and make sure your playhead is at the beginning of the frame set a keyframe on both the start and end and make sure both are at zero and hold down shift and hit page down three times and set these values to 100 select all the keyframes right click keyframe assistant easy ease or f9 on the keyboard and select this little icon to go inside the graph editor select the points and if you don't see a graph like this you can click on this little icon and make sure you check this edit speed graph, right? So select all the keyframes and make it like this and go back to the normal timeline and select this keyframe, the start keyframe and offset it a little bit so that you have this, right? So just after that, uh, you, can, you can collapse this trim path and go inside this stroke, go and select this taper this feature is not available in the earlier versions of adobe after effects so go and set this start length to 100 select this burst hit t to bring up the opacity set a keyframe and we're gonna fade this out i'm gonna trim this off here set this playhead to the point where you want to trim the layers and hold down alt on the keyboard and click the close square bracket right so that way it trims out like that all right so let's collapse this and click this add and i'm gonna add a repeater like this and what a repeater does is it repeats that shape so go inside this repeater and collapse this transform repeater and right now you can see it's repeating the position, the X position. So remember, this is the X axis and this is the Y axis. This is the Y and this is the X. So we don't want any, any repeat on the X or Y axis. So let's set this to zero. So we want the repeater to be in a circle, right? So a circle is a 360 degree radius. So let's go inside this rotation right so i'm gonna rotate this at 45 degree like this so go up here in the repeater let's make some room here let's go in the copies here so right now the total diameter of the of a circle is 360 so divided by you entered a rotation of 45 so you have to divide that by 45 and if you hit enter, it is eight. So you have a perfect circle like that, right? So that is the final burst. So what I did was control D to duplicate this and shut off the eye for the, for the second one and collapse this and go, in, go inside the shape 
stroke and I added a dash like this drag this burst to the bottom of all the layers let's go ahead and apply all the text animation so to do that select this text go to animation and apply animation preset and you can navigate to the folder where you save the animation presets so I'm gonna select this animation preset to select this subscribe subscribers sorry I'm gonna go inside I'm gonna select this animation uh, apply animation presets and this time I'm gonna select two right and one thing to mind is whenever you apply an animation presets on your text make sure to pay attention where your time indicator is because it's gonna start the animation from the point where your time indicator is on your in your timeline so for instance I want to thank you to appear to start the animation from this frame right so I'm gonna set the time indicator here select the thank you text go and apply the animation preset and it will start from there see that so I think that's clear enough so right now let's adjust the timing of the animation so I'm gonna drag this burst back so that the text comes in here and the burst I think I'm going inside this burst and I'm gonna increase the burst the I'm gonna increase the burst so to do that let's go inside this stroke and repeater and transform repeater and I'm gonna set this to 20 and go in copies it's 360 divided by 20 is 18 right so that is the calculation so I'm gonna set this like this for now and without selecting any layers here in the composition grab the pen tool with no fill and a stroke right so I'm gonna draw a line a curve a curve like this like you saw in the original example something like that and let's refine this once you click away and if you want to change these points it's just off this let's go inside this and contents shape and path so if you select this path one you can see you can select the points and you can you know always readjust this right all right let's just keep it like this for this tutorial right we're gonna do the same for this again go inside shape stroke and round cap and I'm gonna add a trim path right so trim path and maybe from here I'm gonna start the animation so collapse this trim path zero set a keyframe and one two three four five six this time so 100 select all the keyframes I'm just repeating the same step so I'm I won't slow down I'm gonna go fast this time so select all the keyframes go in the graph editor select all the keyframes and this time maybe I'm gonna do a reverse like this right graph like that something like that right that's looking great so let's go inside the stroke and taper and let's do the taper like we did before like that right so we're gonna fade the opacity somewhere here so hit select the layer hit T set a keyframe and zero that right so after you zero that you can just enable the burst duplicate that you created earlier and you can just rename this line to be organized and you can even change the color of the layers so that you can differentiate right so I'm gonna drag this away and you know set this point here and reposition and readjust the timing something like that and you can hit S on the keyboard and scale this down so what I did was duplicate this burst layer control D and and you know reposition it anywhere you want and scale it scale up and scale down and one more thing I added to the text was go and go inside the effects and presets and type in transform and drag and drop it on the text and 
go in this queue and I set this to negative 15, right? So copy the transform and paste it on all the text. So you have this text, all right. All right, that is how you can create this animation. You can download the project file. The link will be there in the description down below. Once again, thank you so much for helping me reach 1000 subscribers. If you haven't watched this video, you can go and watch it. This has been Motion Designer and I will see you in my next video. Take care.